Israelis are protesting and scuffling at the gates of the Shadow E facility, SDE, Thaiman Prison in Negev district. They're opposing the detention of nine soldiers accused of torturing a Gaza prisoner. In response to the allegations, Israel's military had launched an investigation and took the accused personnel for questioning. The demonstrators rioted, chanted shame and waved Israeli national flags opposing this move. The detention of soldiers also prompted an outcry among members of Israel's far-right government. It is understood that the Palestinian detainee abused by the IDF was admitted to a hospital following several injuries that rendered him incapable of walking. Several reports by rights groups, including an investigation by AP, have emerged outlining the cases of severe abuse inflicted on the Palestinian detainees at the notorious facility. A petition was filed at Israel's Supreme Court by an Israeli human rights organization. It points to tens of thousands of languishing prisoners from Gaza enclave, including women, children, elderly and medics who are being subjected to brutal torture. They face physical assault, starvation and neglect in Israeli military's prison cell. It adds that in recent months, dozens of Palestinian detainees in deteriorating health conditions have been released from the Israeli cell bearing visible scars indicating torture. The Israeli military, however, denies ill treatment of Palestinians. IDF insists that it acts according to international law and those arrested get food, access to medicines, water and clothing. The claim, however, has been contested by domestic and international rights organizations. A United Nations agency for Palestinian refugees report released in April alleged that some of its staff members detained by Israel were subjected to severe beatings, humiliation, insults, ill treatment and were quote unquote forced to strip naked. They were subjected to different forms of abuse like waterboarding, faced threats of rape and electrocution. The documented release of 1,506 detainees from Gaza, that includes 43 kids and 84 women via Karim Shalom Crossing. It said that they were, and I'm quoting here, made to act like animals, got urinated on, tortured with loud music and noise, were subjected to deprivation of water, food, sleep and toilets, suffered due to the prolonged use of tightly locked handcuffs causing open wounds and friction injuries. The United States expressed deep concerns about the report and pressed Israel to launch an official probe to hold the perpetrators accountable. Since then, Israel has resorted to transferring the bulk of Palestinians, Palestinian detainees from SDE to other facilities. Tel Aviv is facing international condemnation for its continued brutal offensive in Gaza that killed 39,630 civilians and has injured 90,900 others. Due to the bombing, vast tracts of the enclave lies in ruins as civilians struggle to survive amid the crippling humanitarian aid blockade. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stands accused of genocide at the International Criminal Court and flouting the ruling that ordered immediate cessation of hostilities months ago. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.